expert. I'm glad he raised the issue of psychopathy. We're being offered a psychopathic and psychotic moral attitude. It's psychotic because this is completely delusional. There's no reason to believe that we live in a universe ruled by an invisible monster, right, Yahweh. Put Piso with some interesting down-to-earth facts. All neurological disorders like schizophrenia and also all religious beliefs accept bizarre metamagical beliefs as if they were true. This, this signifies that all religious people, especially the educated ones, that accept these beliefs as true are have a problem with the brains. Case closed. End of story. What's wrong with Sam Harris? I can't believe it. He is discussing imaginary friends <laughs> with a Dr. Craig, a theologian. You know what a theologian is? It's no different than a schizophrenic. I would suggest that Sam Harris goes to a neurological institution, a, a mental health clinic, and discuss imaginary friends with sch schizophrenics. I can't believe this guy. What's wrong with Sam Harris? Discussing this imaginary friend with somebody that is nuts. That's infected with Christ psychosis. Why don't you tell this Dr. Craig? You create this stuff, all these imaginary friends with the brain, not with the ass. You were born out of a fuck. You have no idea. You create God with the brain. What's wrong with Sam Harris? And this is the problem with Sam Harris, Dawkins, Hitchens, and all the rest of atheists. They don't know their, their ass from a hole in the ground. These people are nuts. Christians are nuts and no different than schizophrenics. Amazing. Psychopathic, because this is a total detachment from the, from the well-being of human beings. It, this so easily rationalizes the slaughter of children. Just, just think about the Muslims at this moment who are blowing themselves up, okay, convinced that they are agents of God's will. There's absolutely nothing that Dr. Craig can, can say against their behavior. Claim that they're praying to the wrong God. If they had the right God, what they were doing would be good. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is what Sam Harris doesn't see. Dr. Craig believes in resurrecting zombies. <laughs> That's say with blood. Just like the schizophrenics or schizotypal people that believe in metamagical imaginary friends that do this stuff. So why doesn't he have to apologize and kind of be wishy-washy? Just call Dr. Craig what he is. You have a problem with the brain. You suffer from a schizotypal disorder. Cry psychosis if you believe in the jurisdiction. Like Come on, Sam Harris. Wake up. <laughs> you cannot have it both ways. Religious people are either nuts or they're sane. So, boy, incredible. He doesn't see it. I'm saying that all of the Dr. Craig or all religious people are psychopaths and psychotic. It allows perfectly decent and sane people to believe sane? by Sane? Really? What only... You call that sane? On our own. Okay, if you wake up tomorrow... Are schizophrenic sane? Thinking that saying a few Latin words... They have the same beliefs. ...is going to turn them into the body of Elvis... Schizotypal. Okay, you have lost your mind. A cracker in the body of Jesus... You're just a Catholic. See, the problem with Sam Harris and uh, some other, you know, very brilliant men that they don't see that, they don't make the connection between uh, neurological disorders uh, and religious beliefs because they're basically the same thing. They're both, uh, all religious beliefs, all, all over the world, uh, produced by the brain, of course, um, they are based on the acceptance of bizarre metamagical beliefs as if they were reality. Magic. All religions have magic. And of course, science fictions have magic also. Conspiracy theories have magic. And all of them lack evidence. But it feels good to actually believe in all these fairy tales to be reality. The same thing happens in schizophrenia, schizotypal disorder, and epilepsy, temporal love epilepsy, and uh, people that use psychotropic drugs to see God and to experience an, 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 an altered reality. Uh, and this is, when you use drugs, of course, you know, you can create this effect. 
and you may be very healthy, uh, mentally healthy, and uh, but you can actually feel that. If you don't have or don't use drugs, and you have these feelings, these mental magical beliefs, and you are very well educated, and you still have these feelings, then you have a problem. Not unlike uh, schizotypal disorder, schizoaffective. You know, in other words, you have this belief in imaginary friends and God. And this is what Sam Harris fails to see. This is the problem. And a lot of people, they just, you know, it's the big elephant in the room. They do not see it. And uh, this is, if they start realizing that, uh, you know, uh, there's no difference between a schizotypal disorder, uh, schizo schizophrenic or so, and uh, uh, deep faith in God, which is nothing but imaginary friends, you know, like demons and angels and all that, and the life after death feeling, uh, then can actually see that it's no much, no different than a neurological malfunction, a disorder, something that's wrong with the brain. And this is the problem that Sam Harris failed to see. He doesn't understand anything about the ancient history, about religious beliefs. Catholicism, he's an idiot. Remember what he's saying? He's an idiot. He doesn't know that his religion happens in the, in the Egyptian empire, in the um, Egyptian religion 5,000 years ago. He should study history, ancient history, and he doesn't. And this is a problem. So he should shut up on that respect because he doesn't know anything about it. Now let me teach Sam Harris and a lot of people that are very ignorant about uh, Catholicism, the worship of the Christus. They all, they, everything originated from the uh, uh, from the sacrifice of the son of Venus, the Pater Patriae, the uh, great hero, the savior that was sacrificed the 15th of March of the year 44 BCE. And that was not none other than Gaius, son of the earth, Julius Caesar, the Christus. He was a Christus, Christus being anointed savior. All that, uh, you know, this is where it started all the, the religions, you know, the, the Abrahamic religions, so-called Abrahamic religions, you know, Judaism, uh, Christianity, and Islam, and the many thousands of sects that happened to it. And uh, the Catholic religion, which, you know, began Catholic means universal. The universal religion of the Christus uh, initiated with all the rituals taken from the Roman Empire religion, which was controlled by the Pontifex Maximus, and which was the head of uh, the College of Priests, the Quinta Viri, the 15 priests, which were senators. In other words, the senators of Rome with the Pontifex Maximus, and of course, the Son of God with the Pontifex Maximus became the Roman Emperor after, uh, uh, the divine Roman Emperor after Julius Caesar, were initiated the cult of the Christus, and uh, eventually in 325, uh, Constantine, you know, everything mutated completely, and everything took a different, different uh, path, and initiated the, uh, which is now the, Catholic universal religion of the Christians because there were so many of them all over the empire. Catholic Church was born. They adopted all the ceremonies, the bread, they used the potato, the uh, the, the, the uh, simpulum, where you use your, your sacred drink, which is actually wine, but it's malsum. They call it the, Rom the, uh, the Romans call it malsum, which is uh, wine, uh, water wine. They never used the pure with entheogens, with hallucinogenic materials to, because, you know, it makes you feel, you know, when you take all these uh, mushrooms and diluted flowers like the Tudor flowers, they, they gives you this feeling in the brain and you see all this stuff and you actually believe that you're seeing these things, the priest did, and they actually give communion to, uh, you know, to the, uh, all the people attending and then you have the patera and the patera, which the, the uh, Catholic priests use today and they don't have anything on it except <laughs> the wafer of Christ and crap like that, but in ancient times, he actually had to use, he had mushrooms, you know, uh, psychoactive mushrooms, they had a lot of, a lot of them, the species of, species of mushrooms, there are many that create hallucinogenic material, so this is the sacred utensil of the religion, they were all used, which are now in the Catholic Church, and the Catholic Church does nothing, because everything has been lost, because they used to use drugs into the 
things that they give the people. Sam Harris is, a, is you know, is a very brilliant man, but he's ignorant in that particular subject in history, and and you have to connect all the dots. You know, neurology, ancient history, biology. Uh, I mean, microbiology, everything to actually be able to understand, to have the whole effect, and he doesn't understand it. Um, the uh, the uh, wafer that the priest has that is round is a symbol of the sun, the sun god, which actually came from ancient Egypt. And uh, when you have the the dinner of the of the god and the and the the sacrifice of the lamb and all that. Well, over 4,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, uh, they had these rituals, but they killed these animals, they sacrificed the animal. It was a sacred barbecue. <laughs> because in the temples, after they kill all the animals and they, all the rituals and everything, the priests will have a banquet and they will eat the flesh of the lamb and the, the uh, cattle and the animals that they consume and birds. The sacred banquet. Everybody's religion that does a barbecue in the United States. So uh, this is what's happening. Uh, accepting all this stuff as reality today is comes to mental illness. I mean, you people, you know, there's no God. We create God with the brain. But but if you use this as, a, as an act, all the religious today, if they were using it as an act, as a drama, as a theater performance, then it should be okay. They will have them in all churches, and you go over there just to enjoy the, the drama and the fiction. But to believe it, this fiction is true, and this is what they do in all religions, it becomes a psychosis, and really a, a problem. But that's where it comes from. And here are some, some interesting things that you can see. This ceremony is over a thousand years old. Here is expressing the sun god, the priest, and every, all the ritual had to be extremely precise. He had to put the hand a certain way, he had to elevate the, uh, the, uh, the host in a certain way, the symbol of the sun. He had to kneel so many times. The tassels are sacred because they represent the, the sacred uh, air world, the spirit world. And he had to hold it a certain way with four fingers there and holding it like that. The ceremonials are precise, otherwise the god would not be uh, propitious and you know, bad luck happens because he didn't you know, recite the prayers correctly. And then you have the altar boys that will help. They have to clean it. They have to hold the the uh, the cup in a certain way, and then have communion. And he has the eating the, the flesh of the god and all that, and all the prayers. And it's extremely precise and exactly like they used to be. If anybody gets uh, was bothered to get educated in ancient religions, here is the Shen, the uh, the the. Uh, the bird is actually a soul with a human head, and this little circle here represents infinity. It's called the Shen. That's where the sun god and the wafer comes. Here are the animals, going to be a sacred barbecue. They're going to be offered. That's the lamb. And here is the god Osiris, the girl of the dead, with the falcon. Look, it's going to protect him. And you see the symbol of the sun. Everything is obvious if you know how to read range of Then religion. we have Dr. Sapolsky, brilliant neuroscientist, explaining... Metamagical belief is a form of schizotypal that we have today in the 21st century. Makes religion a form of schizophrenia, a schizotypal disorder. When the, the, when the people are educated and they actually believe this stuff to be reality. I mean, the ignorant people, they are not educated and they're superstitious. Yeah, and they get educated, they're okay because they don't believe the bullshit. I was brought up in the Catholic crap, and, and uh, you know, I, was, I didn't know any better. I was a kid. And then you grow up out of the fairy tales, and then you're okay. But if I would not grow up, and I would become a priest or uh, a doctor, uh, you know, even a neurologist or whatever, and I still believe in this resurrecting zombie that says with blood, then I would have a problem with my brain. This is what people don't understand. And here, yeah, you know, the... Uh, the uh, uh, the Egyptian religion, all this is written in hieroglyphs. They're in tombs 4,000 years ago. The original books are right there. You know, if you can read the hieroglyphs, you can see what these people believed a long time ago. And they are right in there. But the stupid, you know, very ignorant, uh, uh, religious psychotic idiots and moronic, stupid people, 
they're believing in God and crap like that. They believe in newer books, Bible, Quran, and all that crap and all these things. They're they're modern. And they're only 1,500 years old. Some are 1,000 years old. It doesn't compare to the original, which is written in stone. Because if Don Fox don't even know how to read the hieroglyphs, they don't understand it. They're stupid. Go to Egypt. See the original in the tombs. If for thousand year, you know, see the pictures, see the pictograph. I think even a fucking moron can understand pictographs of what the people believed a long time ago. Sacred barbecue here. Because the fact is, we create God with the magical beliefs, all kind of thoughts, the mind with our brains, not our asses. We were born out of a fuck, not a stork. And people like Dawkins and Sam Harris and Hitchens and a lot of other scientists, they never mentioned this. They never mention it. They keep around and they fight all the uh, the psychotic with the mumble jumbo religious idiots, and they don't say the they, they don't. Come on, please land, atheists, mentally healthy people. Come on, smell the coffee. We are mutated primates. Tell it to everybody. And when they're uh, the fuck assholes, you know, uh, they believe in God and crap like that, and the Christians especially, they are ruining the whole world. Uh, with their psychopathy and other people like that, put them in their place. Tell them that you're you're fucked up. You're crazy. You say it like that. Don't use all this beautiful language and polite. Uh, no, just tell it like it is. Use the vernacular. Everybody will understand that. You are a piece of shit, fucking assholes. If you believe in God and crap and resurrecting zombies in this 21st century, they do not exist. So please go see a neurologist, get your fucking asshole brain fixed. Say it like that, simple. Instead of going with a, well, uh, you think that the Bible is, a, you know, is actually an old tribal book. There was this many of them and it couldn't be reality. It couldn't be based on truth because it happens many. No, fuck all that shit, you know. Uh, these people have, you know, religious people have to be crushed and and, and suck the fucking uh, truth to their fucking asshole brains. And say it like that. Because they're fucking excreted. They are, they are immoral. They're psychopath. They are deluded. And they're loose in the streets. And they're not placed in the mental institution they belong. Like the people that suffer from a depression, manic depression, bipolar, uh, schizotypal disorder. And all Christians, hey, the signs are there. So they're sick people. And they have a problem in the brain, so they this should be addressed. But not nicely, because they will not, never understand it. If an asshole, you know, Christ psychotic imbecile comes around, you know, Jehovah Witnesses, all these pieces of shit, come around knocking on my door, I send him to a mental institution. I said, you have a problem, person. You know, you dude, you have a problem. You know, your, your mind is, is malfunctioning, so I suggest you go and take care of it. And this is the way you treat these people. And of course, the majority in the United States are infected with the disorder. So here, uh, some uh, interesting, <laughs> more, more religious psychosis from Cartagena. I went to do my research to these people that are psychotic and they have this problem, this uh, Christ psychotics, and they attend the church, believing everything is reality. Castillo or Cartagena, Christ psychosis in action, saying a mass or something, not a mass, but saying prayers. And this is in, in the apps. 
professions. Now we have to realize this 21st century, these people, and not, I mean, there's people that here are educated, they went to high school, and some are doctors, and some are, but they've been living all this mumbo jumbo crap in this 21st century. So they have a problem. They go over there and they got their injection of lies and dopamine and fairy tales pretending to be actually reality. It is not so. And this is what is damaging the whole world because it causes intolerance. And I can actually give you lectures of Buddhism and, and uh, Islam and many, many, many religions, but I'm concentrating in Christianity because it's the worst disorder there is, Christ psychosis. And of course, here I'm, I am making my faces and crying and feeling, oh boy, holy Christ. Well, I have to, I have to play the part, which is kind of fantastic in this, <laughs> this place. Amazing. But, you know, it's a, it's a psychosis. I mean, you're the people that believe everything to be reality. And this man believes all this hocus pocus. It's metamagical thinking. It's a schizotypal schizophrenia. That's what it is. So remember, Christianity is a mental disorder. And it's the worth, worth of all of them. It's a cancer of the brain. It's worse than HIV AIDS. It destroys everything. They are immoral pieces of shit that corrupt the mind of children with the garbage. This is the reason all the intolerance, all the stuff that is happening, racism, like the pieces of shit of the Tea Party, the uh, uh, cry psychotics morons, the ignoramus that belong in the mentalism, they should drag away from it, like, uh, like Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman and Phelps and all these assholes and a lot of senators that are Christian pieces of shit, they should be dragged out of their fucking offices and by neurologists and doctors and say, wait a minute, man, you have a problem. Let's put you over there. You cannot, you cannot legislate. You cannot do anything like that because you have a problem with your brain. You believe in uh, another, Mick Romney, a piece of shit uh, Mormon psychotic. Again, take the asshole, grab him. You cannot be run for president. I'm sorry, but you do have a problem with the brain. You believe in this place and Angel Moroni and resurrecting zombies. We, we cannot have you. And, solve the problem. But we have to tell it like it is. No more ni Mr. Nice Man and polite and all that crap. Bullshit. These pieces of shit assholes are ruining the country, the cry psychotics, they should be crushed with the facts and truth and exposed and tell it like it is. That's the only thing that they can understand. You know, when unruly kids, you grab them at the head and you spank a few times and they will behave. That's what you do with the cry psychotic pieces of shit. Especially people that go to church that's what you do to them, you know, and that's the way it should be. Put the nuts in a mental institution they belong. They're ruining the country. They're going to make us extinct. Pache de Oro.